I've already tried all my L.A. contacts. Nobody out there's laid eyes on Donnelly. No, not a word. You know Donnelly never picks up his phone unless he's out of scotch. Okay, call me when you hear anything. DJ Barney, please. Yes, yeah, Scorpio. Okay. Good day, mate. Anybody in your windy city laid eyes on Sean since we talked? You're damn right I'm concerned. Okay. Well, you call me the minute you hear anything, all right? Pronto. Robert. Po Polly, please. Is that all you can think about is Sean and the WSB? Well, what would you have me think about? I mean, what momentous subject is on your mind? Well, how about me and our marriage? And furthermore, I resent your attitude of marriage being a one-way street. You're reading the signals all wrong. No, I'm not. Look, I have never restricted you or otherwise tried to call the shots. Haven't you noticed little me twiddling my thumbs as you go out? Down the narrow little one-way street. Exactly. Men only. No access. Holly, keep out. Only Robert and Sean admitted. That is nonsense. It's all you can think about is Sean and that bloody organization. The same bloody organization that you've been hustling. Hustling? Well, what would you call it? When Petros Cassidyne turned up here, you bothered the life out of Ballantyne so that he'd make you an agent. I broached the subject. I broached? Broached? Is that what you call it? You hung on like a bulldog. You even angled to have yourself assigned to Donnelly. Well, think of it this way. I wanted to be an agent so my husband would pay some more attention to me. That's a devious, underhanded tactic. Well, forgive me my trespasses, O oh Lord and Master. I resent your accusations. I have never neglected you. Well, that's only because you can't shake me off. I felt like a barnacle of late, or maybe an albatross. Well, you are around my neck. Well, maybe you can't handle marriage anymore. And how did you reach that conclusion? It's so obvious. What makes you think you'd do so hot in the marriage department as a WSB agent? Well, it would be part of my life, but it would not have been my whole life. You would have still been my priority. Look, you do come first with me, and you know that. No, I don't. Look, what have I done to make you feel this way? It's not exactly what you've done. Well, not yet, anyway. Well, what are we talking about? If you really want to know, I fully expect you to just sneak out the slightest provocation. Just a, a mere beckon from Sean would do it. <laughs> and why are you laughing? You? You're jealous of Donnelly? Yeah, maybe I am, but it's not funny. <laughs> I doubt that our ladies' man would be so flattered at this so-called triangle. Well, neither, have you, neither of you have to worry about it anyway, because I'm not in the picture and it takes three to make a triangle. So, now it all comes out. What? You know, this has really been quite enlightening. Well, I'm glad to have educated you. You finally revealed yourself, Madam Scorpio. What do you mean? All those words you uttered to me just recently about doing anything for me, following me anywhere, what a lot of rubbish. It's just like Naomi to Ruth. Ruth to Naomi. Whatever. I have just one thing to say to you. Well, actually, to ask you. Well, don't be shy. Are you envious of Sean? That's a stupid question. Don't evade it. It's the truth, isn't it? You're absolutely, positively green with envy that Sean can do whatever he wants and go wherever he pleases whenever he wants to. That's your interpretation. But just because it's mine doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's without foundation. I know what I see. What's that? I see your big blue eyes just light up when you get into a huddle with Sean. And then the light goes out when he goes away on his merry way on his own without you. You're being super sensitive. But it's the truth, isn't it? Don't lie to me, Robert. Me? Yes, you. I don't lie. Now, you just don't answer the question. The answer, the answer happens to be self-evident. I mean, wouldn't anybody appreciate or like the sort of freedom that Sean has? So you do want to join the WSP again? That's ridiculous. I mean, I happen to be married. What are you doing? I'm going out. 
All right. Um, where are you going? Well? Don't think that I'm evading the question. Just answer it. And I don't want to lie. All right, then again, where are you going? Wherever I feel like. Holly. At least allow me some freedom, too. Maybe... Maybe she's at the spa. Maybe not. Where else? Serious. Right. Holly. Holly. Oh. How nice seeing you, too. It's better be important. Why else would I bother you? Look, Robert, I'm going after an obstruction of justice charge against Jenny Blake. And I need your backup. You came over here just for that? Are you and the judge doing a little dance together or what? Between his stalling and your total lack of interest... Listen, my gung-ho friend. I happen to have other problems today. You still have the Jenny Blake problem. It did not go away. But it's not on my priority list. Well, where is it, Robert? In your dead files? Because I sure as hell have no intentions of closing the books on what, this one. What, what is this? A vendetta against Ginny Blake? Are you trying to flex your muscles? What is your problem? Do you resent me doing my job, or shall I say finishing it? It's over. Or maybe you've forgotten. You sat down with the judge. You figured out the guy was shot in self-defense. The case is finished. You heard the judge. Further charges are still pending. I suggest you check out your motives before you go after Ginny Blake again. We are talking about a secondary charge, and it's valid. Now, are you suggesting I just ignore it, drop it? Oh, come off it. Do you think I am fooling around for the sake of my ego? No. For the sake of your political aspirations, I'm not saying you shouldn't be ambitious, and far be it from me to tell the DA not to aspire to a higher office. I am talking about simple justice. All right, save that for your first political speech to a woman's club now. I've got other things to do today. Well, me too. And with or without your usual aggressive help, Ms. Blake is going to get what she deserves. Don't you think she already has her full measure? This woman's got to live with this for the rest of her life. Now bury the case, will you? Well, that statement is out of order. Thank you, Judge. I'll just ignore that one, too. Now you want to be the jury, too. That's the trouble with some of you attorneys. You want to play every bloody role in the courtroom. See you, Robert. Holly! Hi there, sweetheart. What's this? Tea time? Oh! No, oh, Jake and I just catching up and things. Do you mind if I sit down? No, please do. Oh, Join us. I just dropped by. I thought maybe uh, Bobby would be here. No, she's at work and enjoying every minute. I don't doubt it. And eternally grateful to Robert. Well, Robert had a lot of faith in Bobby. Well, it's mutual. And anybody who says Robert Scorpio is not perfect has rocks in their head. I'll second that. See? Unanimous. Yes. Honey, can I get you a cup of coffee? Uh, um... Actually, if you could just tell... Tell Bobby that I came by and maybe I'll run into her. Well, why don't you stay here? Time. She's due here to meet me after work. Come on, wait. I'll get you some coffee. All right. <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything, are you? Oh, no, no, no. No secrets here, Holly. Matter of fact... I was just telling Ruby that Bobby and I may be going in on a real estate venture together. In the Spencer's old neighborhood, he wants to open a storefront office. Oh, really? Office and apartment together. Well, you won't have to bring home your work very far, will you? That's right. That's right. Robert keeps an office at home. You know what that's like. Yes, yes, I know what that's like. You know something? I still can't figure out where Bobby fits in. Well, if Bobby decides to go partners with me, she can take an apartment in an upper level. It would be a whole change of scenery for her, Ruby. You know something? That's a good idea for her. Back to her old neighborhood. Yeah, sometimes it's a good idea. What? Oh, I was just uh, agreeing with Ruby. Sometimes it's a good idea to get back with your own kind. Jake, who knows? You might start a whole trend and it'll be catching. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Well, should we let this gorgeous mm. thing in here? Oh, it's just something I threw on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Felicia back yet? No, no, not yet. Why don't you uh, stick around and wait? I hate when she does this to me. i could spend some more time with my brother. Speaking of that, how is he? Well, last time I looked, he was about ready to burn dinner. Oh, oh every woman's dream. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, can I have some coffee? Well, come and join sure, us. Sure, sweetheart. I'll go get you a cup. Oh, great. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I... We're serious. She keeps me waiting, right? And I keep her waiting, but we know where each other stands. You know? Where's that? Oh, probably about that far away from getting married. Well, that's nice. It's great. Holly, you know that... What? That, yes. that feeling you get when you know you found the right person. Am I the expert? Oh, come on. I mean, you and Robert, I, I watched you guys in Mexico and even in Texas. You know, you, you did? Yeah, you guys are great together. Yeah, but that was a, that was a very exciting time. Oh, yeah. It was, it was dangerous, too. And, and you and Robert, I mean, you, you just... You just work off each other so well. Yeah, and Robert. It was Robert and I and Sean, though. And right, right. Luke. But the pressure, you see, that was the thing. And I don't know, you guys have been through a lot together. That was the high, but, you know, every married couple has to come down to earth sooner or later. True. And true. that's the real test. Yeah. Well, Felicia and I, if we get married, maybe I should say when we get married. If we have. One half of what you have, I'll be happy. But no marriage is perfect, you know. You mustn't have too many illusions about it. Okay. I'll just pick my favorite illusions. I will take the Scorpios and my brother and Tanya. The newlyweds. How yeah. are they doing? They're terrific. Terrific. They're probably still in that honeymoon phase, huh? No. No, they are one step past that. Did you know that they're going to have a baby? Darling. So am I. So am I. No more scenes like that, I promise. Mm. On the other hand, it makes for a rather delicious homecoming. Now, where were you? I was learning a very good lesson. Me too. Like that you're pretty hard to track down. You didn't try Kelly's. Kelly's? I didn't think of it. I was talking to a young man who is very much in love. Oh, who's that? Frisco. Guess who his role models are for perfect marriage? Well, I can think of some, maybe one, two. <laughs> well, Tony and Tanya. But they're newlyweds. They don't know any better. <laughs> and us. Imagine that. He was very impressed with our marriage. Me too. I hope you didn't try to discourage him. Well, I told him that every marriage has ups and downs. Mm -hmm. No reason to uh, remain a bachelor forever. Hmm? Do you mean that? If you'd seen how miserable I'd been here today, you wouldn't even have to ask. I'm so sorry for rushing out like that. <sighs> I'm glad you didn't get any further than Kelly's. We do have a marvelous marriage. And we don't need Frisco to tell us that, do we? No. Scorpio. What? Be right there. What's, what's wrong? It's Tony Jones. He's been shot and it's serious. What? Where are you going? I'm going with you. Good Lord, poor Tanya. She's pregnant. Did you know that? And now her husband's been shot. I don't know what I'd do if that happened to you. 